And time now to hear the voices of the crisis. With schools temporarily closed, it means most bookbinders are out of business and hundreds of workers risk losing their jobs. As we continue to take stock of how the COVID-19 pandemic has affected businesses, Joy Business takes you to one of the popular hubs for bookbinders in Accra, where work is as a standstill. Bubuashi, a suburb of Accra. On a normal day, this part of town bustles with activity. It's one of the major hubs for bookbinders. We have come to meet Nana Kweku in Chibuesiako. He is chairman of the Bookbinders Association. He has been in the business for about 30 years, since the 80s. Those times was, was the best times. Uh, white man would say the good old days. From 85 where I started mine, we were about five, and then now we can boost up about 2,000 people as we speak now. Every street has a bookbinding factory and chances are that every home you see belongs to a factory owner or a worker. Before this COVID-19 will hit us, we do the production, we have orders from the schools and then from the open market as well. Some supply Kumase as far as Tamale and some to supply, the major ones supply at Okanshin where we have the major stores that takes our books and then Kofodia. Let's across the country, the length and breadth of the country. We do supply everywhere. But COVID-19 has changed everything. Then I come on, I'm just looking at buying some of my Various factory owners are in a meeting today to discuss the way forward weeks after the president closed down schools temporarily to keep the spread of the virus. We work hand in hand with DES. So any measure that DES will take, it goes against uh, production of books, notebooks and all, all that entails to uh, a school, to give it to a school. It's, definitely affect them. So now that the COVID-19 has come to stay for some few months that we are fighting, battling it out, it has let the business go down because we can't manufacture. The pandemic came at a very bad time, Nana Kweku tells me. The month of May is usually when production is at its peak. Now there's nothing to do, nobody to produce for. So if you manufacture now, why are you going to sell it? Before this thing were, uh, happened, we have already done a lot of books to the market where we haven't gotten our money. So even to raise capital to buy material to start business now is a big problem for us now. That's what we are thinking of. How to even get money to start the business when this epidemic is over? Even where to get the money to start afresh is the problem. Because when you go to the market, they will tell you you haven't sell your books. So you can't even go. If you go for them, what are you going to do with it? So definitely it means you have to get new money to start another production. So as we speak, the effect is very huge. Most of the factories have been shut for weeks and equipment already gathering dust. Besides the huge investments they've made in equipment, their other headache is to pay hundreds of workers they have employed. They are the boys we normally work with every year. So we save money to, let, to keep them going. Because this thing is, let's say, by a month or two, it will be over. So assume you don't pay them and then you let them go. When it's over, who is going to help you? So we, we, we don't pay them fully, but at least we give them something to keep them also going. Because they know what is going on now. We are not manufacturing, we are not selling. But at least we have to help ourselves, we meet ourselves halfway. So that's what we have been doing. We have been helping them halfway, just to keep them going till the uh, pandemic is over. So for now, we don't pay full salary to them. We are meeting them halfway, just for them to survive. For how long this can be sustained, Nana Kweku can't tell. What is obvious, they need support to survive this period. We've heard that they are, uh, they've, got, they've brought in some uh, measures that they are going to have their small scale industries. I heard it on a radio and then on a TV. And they are yet to launch it. So that's what we are also praying that will be factored into it, that uh, if there's any helping hand, they should also turn back and see those who work with their schools. Because other factories are, since the uh, lockdown has been lifted, other factories are, are working. But since we work with the school direct, we cannot work. Because schools are not open. So when you do the books, why are you going to sell it? So if financial support will come, we are begging the government to also put us into consideration and see how we are going to 
be able to stand on our feet again because now we are down. Now, though, with nothing much to do, the bookbinders are meeting to strategize the way forward. The whole thing is a nightmare, I must be honest, a nightmare. So we, we are pleading to the government that if you come into our aid, when this small-scale uh, loan is being introduced, they should also turn back to us and, and help us more, at least to cushion us so we can stand on our feet. If nothing comes at all, it will be very difficult for us to work. Because I can tell you for a fact, somebody captures 1,000 Ghana, somebody has 2,000 Ghana. The person has been in the house for two months now. You can imagine what has become of that money. It's gone. So you need something to start again. So it's like we are really down. Down as long as the schools are closed. Thank you.